So it's just a gloomy, ugly, yuck, depressing day. Here in the end times, leaving Garfield, Texas once again in this death trap, gas sucking truck. Am I dealing with buying a fucking, uh, un fucking believable what, what I've gone, gone through over this goddamn buying a fucking used pickup truck in the state of Texas. It is now Wednesday, April 3rd. I, I'm trying to remember uh, when, when did this start? This, this, this goddamn fucking saga that has eaten my brain completely eaten my fucking brain. Uh, how many days of my life have been goddamn wasted? How many nights have I tossed and turned, uh, unable to sleep? Uh, good fucking God, how many goddamn dollars have I spent? How many miles have I put on this fucking truck? I'm trying to buy a fucking used pickup truck in the shithole state of Texas. My fucking God. Uh, is this nightmare never <coughs> going to end? Is it never going to end? I, I have never in my entire life worked this hard to buy a fucking used car in my entire goddamn life. And, and, and this is the uh, and this is the most money by far. <coughs> you know, I've got this angel who has fronted me ten thousand dollars in cash. I have fucking well, it's not in cash. It is locked up in my goddamn PayPal, and I have no fucking idea how to get it out. Uh, but that's just that's just one part of this rant. So anyway, I have got ten thousand fucking dollars that this angel ha has fronted me to, to buy uh, me a new gas sucking truck, you know, until I sell my house next year and get her paid back anyway. Uh, that's, not, that, that's not important. So I've got 10,000 fucking dollars in cash and this truck, this perfect, well, not perfectly good truck, this fucking death trap old truck I have. I have 10,000 fucking dollars and about a $4,000 truck to trade in. So about $14,000 in the spread. You would think that I would ha have been able uh, in, in the fucking state of Texas. Uh, I got home on March the 8th. March the 8th. It is now April 3rd. April fucking 3rd. And uh, here I go again in, in, in another goddamn mad fucking dash wild goose chase uh, with, with, with the, the, this unbelievable shit that's unrolling. So this morning I got up with the plan, you know, this very nice tribes member, and I gotta say, Brother Steve, you, you, are, you are going way, way, way beyond the uh, the call of duty, and you will certainly earn your $100 finder. See, anybody who uh, finds Hambone, his, his truck, uh, earns a $100 finder's fee. I will gladly pay uh, $100 to anybody who can find me a, a, a fucking uh, used Toyota Tacoma, a, a fucking 10-year-old truck uh, for $10,000 and this truck. So anyway, so Steve uh, sends me this ad, so he finds me this truck on Edmunds.com. I don't know, why, why the fuck ha have I just completely spaced out Edmunds.com? I, I have had great luck in finding used cars on Edmunds.com. So uh, Steve finds me this truck. In, in, in goddamn San Antonio, Texas, on Edmunds.com. So I plan to spend my day, I, I built my entire day around going down to San Antonio, Texas to look for, for the perfect truck. It's got, it, it was a little bit over 100,000, I mean, just a hair over 100,000. 
So it, it wasn't perfect, but hey guys, if you've been what I'm fucking through, you'll take a few extra thousand miles uh, on, on a goddamn Toyota Tacoma. So anyway, if you listen to uh, <coughs> my rants this morning, I, you know I'm, I'm gonna wrap up my rant and I'm on my way to San Antonio. So I, I wrap up my rants and uh, I just decided I should probably call the seller. It's a dealership in San Antonio to make sure they haven't sold the truck since midnight last night. Well, I guess the good news is they had not sold the truck. The bad news is the reason they had not sold the truck is because they had never heard of the fucking truck. Never heard of it. Uh, this And I had this very interesting talk with the salesman. He says that this Edmunds.com, they're, they're as full of shit as someone was telling me about Zillow. That they, that they do this frequently. They just put in the, these absolutely bullshit ads. They never had the fucking truck. They just, they, they, they just pick a truck out and, and just throw on a dealership, you know, so they can beef up their website. And uh, he, he says they're, they're a bunch of goddamn crooks that, that you can't trust Edmunds.com any more than you can trust Zillow.com. It's the Zillow uh, of car sales. So uh, that was that salesman advice. Fuck Edmunds.com. Don't get your hopes up uh, from Edmunds.com about finding th th this beautiful sounding uh, car because it ain't real. If it sounds too good to be true, it's because it is. That's the number one rule in real estate sales and in car sales. So anyway, I go through this and, and I'm sitting there. So this was... Uh, uh, about noon today, about noon today, and, and I'm sitting there just absolutely fuming. Here I am, back to square one. So I had checked the Craigslist ads. Uh, I had checked the goddamn Craigslist ads uh, at midnight last night. There was nothing new in the state of Texas. So I told myself at noon, I said, Hambone, hey, you, you ought to take 90 seconds to make sure nothing new has come up. This was at noon, and I said, no, uh, fuck this goddamn truck search. Uh, so I went out and mowed the goddamn grass for three hours. I, I was so furious. Mowing the grass is a goddamn good way to, uh, to walk off being pissed off. I didn't want to think about this fucking truck, so I go out there for three fucking hours and mow the grass. So at the end of all that, I come back, uh, kick back, I open up Craigslist, I put in, uh, you, you know, what I'm looking for in, in the state of Texas, and what do you think comes up? Well, it wasn't the perfect truck. I'll talk to you about that minute, but at 11 o'clock in, God damn it, at 11 o'clock in the fucking morning, one hour before uh, I should have uh, one hour before I should have uh, you know got, got on Craigslist this guy uh, this clueless fucking moron posted this, this unbelievable ad well basically what he did but, but because I, I, I know the value of these trucks what he has posted on Craigslist, what he posted at 11 o'clock in the morning, that ad would have been sitting there at, at fucking noon had I gone on, was a 2013 six-cylinder four-wheel drive with 48,000 miles on the uh, odometer. 2013 six-cylinder four-wheel drive, 48,000 miles on the odometer. The guy wants $10,200. It's a fucking $20,000 truck at uh, at at uh, CarMax. 
And so then, so now it is fucking after three o'clock in the afternoon, you know, and I'm sitting out in fucking Garfield with the banks getting ready to close, but I don't have the money in my bank account. It, it's in the fucking PayPal account. And my and my angel and and, and myself, uh, the tribes member Mike, heard me say this several days ago. I've been saying, you know, my my angel. She sent me the, this money. Uh, you know, she sent me this money on PayPal like two weeks ago, and, and saying, Hambone, you need to get this money liquid in in your bank account. And uh, I, I've been sitting there just ignoring this. So the money is locked up in PayPal. And so then I get there on PayPal and try to figure out on fucking PayPal how to transfer the goddamn funds uh, out of PayPal into my fucking bank account. I have been up and down back and forwards trying to figure this goddamn thing out, which is supposed to take minutes. You know, you can have the money in your bank account in minutes. You know, they say it's next day is free or within minutes for a $10, pay 10 fucking dollars and they will transfer the money out of your PayPal and into your bank account for free. I have no fucking clue. Uh, how to do this so I get on with uh, with that little goddamn robot you know that little AI chat robot uh, that fucking little chat robot over there at PayPal and I say I need you uh, to walk me through the process of how to transfer funds out of my PayPal account into a bank account. This this would be a fairly common question and the little robot, I guess it was a robot, I don't know if it was a robot or a real human being, writes me back, I am sorry, I have not been trained. I have not been trained in that and I am sorry, I am unable to help you. There is nobody at fucking PayPal who can tell me how to transfer my goddamn money uh, out of fucking PayPal uh, into into my bank account. So anyway, uh, I have no idea how this is going to turn out. I found a buddy. My buddy uh, here in Austin says, "Come up," uh, but but he can't do it until tomorrow. To uh, but anyway, he says we'll do that tomorrow. Assuming the fucking truck. So meanwhile, here I am trying to reach the seller uh, of the truck. It's a private seller. It's not a dealer. It's a private seller in College Station. The, the truck's about two and a half hours from here. He will only respond to texting. He will only respond to texting. And you can imagine, so I didn't even get to him till the, till the fucking ad had been up for four hours. Uh, if I had followed my fucking institu institution, yeah, if I'd followed my institution and, uh, and and gone on the fucking ad at noon, this would have given me, you know, like almost four hour lead time to figure out this PayPal shit and get the goddamn money in my bank account. So anyway, uh, you can only text the guy. There is just one problem. I have no fucking idea how to text. I have never sent a text in my entire fucking life. So now what I've done is now I've, uh, I, I've gotten a friend in Austin involved in this and she is texting the guy uh, on her phone. Uh, you know, four hours after the fucking, and so now she is texting the goddamn guy. Uh, so we're waiting for a goddamn text to find out. And, and, and the ultimate joke about all this, guys, the truck still will not work for me. Even if I get this truck, on the slim chance that I get this goddamn 
uh, $20,000 truck for $10,000, which uh, the, the chance of that happening is slim to none, what do you think I'm going to do with it? I'm going to put it up on Craigslist and sell it because it has one of these fucking little short beds, one of these goddamn 48 inch beds. You know, it's one of these goddamn king cabs with the fucking four doors. So it, so you lose the bed space. Well, I have got to have a fucking six foot bed so I can stretch out and sleep in the motherfucker. So after all of this shit, uh, assuming I, I get this goddamn uh, truck, and I don't even, you know, I'm still gonna have to pay the sales and all of this other bullshit. E even if I get the fucking truck, all I'm gonna do is have a truck that doesn't work for me. And, and now I'm gonna have two trucks to sell. I'm gonna have this fucking truck I'm driving in and another truck. And I'm still gonna be looking for a fucking used pickup truck. So instead of having one truck that doesn't work for me, I'm gonna have two trucks that don't work for me. I'm gonna be driving around with two fucking Toyota trucks to sell and I still haven't found my mother fucking truck. Un-fucking-believable uh, what I'm going through. I'm trying to buy a goddamn used pickup truck in the state of Texas. Jesus, I'm so fucking sick of this shit. It is completely eating my brain. It is eating my brain. It is eating my fucking life. And, 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 uh, and I'm going to spend uh, all day tomorrow and $10,000 buying a truck that I, that I don't even want. I will keep you posted on the next chapter of Hambone tries to buy a $10,000 fucking used pickup truck in the state of Texas. Coming into fucking Austin, Texas. Jesus, I can't believe I'm back in this shithole town. Uh, God, we're so fucked. Well, will this fucking nightmare ever end? That this whole fucking nightmare is going to end when, when this fucking global industrial civilization uh, comes crashing the fuck down. Uh, that'll put an end to this shit real quick. Real fucking quick. Uh, all, all these goddamn fossil fuel addled clueless fucking morons. L look, look at this shit. A every one of these motherfuckers on this road. Uh, here, here I go back. We're coming into Spaghetti Junction. Welcome back to, uh, well, welcome to Austin, Texas. Uh, you know, every, every bit of this goddamn carnage is to service clueless fucking morons and, and their goddamn uh, fossil fuel powered, uh, little, little death traps. Look, look at this shit, guys. Look at this fucking shit. Jesus fucking Christ. Seven o'clock at the fucking night, and here we are in rush hour traffic in Spaghetti fucking Junction. Good God, what we do uh, for these guys for to keep our hand on the wheel. You know screen in here. Uh, fuck. Let me go ahead and get off here. Jesus fucking Christ, people. It's 7 o'clock in, in, in fucking night. Look at this shit. See if you can uh, see this uh, if you can see this homeless camp, this is across the street from the uh, from the Walmart. 
look, look, look at this shit. Look, look at this shit, guys. Look at that. You think that woman there uh, is really concerned about uh, her where her next truck is coming from? We're fucked. Smoke him if you got him. We're out of here.